no one coming to the Father unless you draw them. That you have drawn somebody today and that person is in your house. Let your word go through their hearts. Go through their needs. Amen. Go through their solution. Amen. Let your word melt every fear in their hearts. Amen. Let your word give hope to that hopeless person. Let your word give life to a dead destiny. Amen. A sorrowful destiny. Amen. A frustrated destiny. Amen. Let your word give life to that destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, anyone that the enemy has eaten up their journey and they are living a blessed life, that the enemy has so tears, trouble, and bitterness in their life when they sleep. Daddy, I pray tonight, this morning, oh God, this moment, oh God, let every seed of wickedness in the yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. This is number 7. Verse close edge. Exodus 3. Search. Attitude of gratitude does A not come automatic. Attitude de gratidão não vem automático. Attitude of gratitude does not come automatically. Attitude de gratidão não vem automaticamente. It must be chosen. É escolhido. There must be a choice to be grateful. Take the escolio as say gratidão. They are all cultivated. To do a cultivar. Before it become part of you, you must cultivate it. Antes de virar parte de você, você tem que cultivar. Exodus chapter three, verses number seven. Exodus chapter three, verse number If you are there, you can help us to read. Continue, sir, please. Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Obrigado. Deus te abençoe. It said, and the, I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Versículo 8 diz que eu desceu para libertar eles na mão do Egito. Numbers chapter 11, verse 6. Número capítulo 11, versículo 6. Numbers, hold on to this. Exodus chapter 3, 7 and 8. And let us go to Numbers chapter 11, verse 6. Numero capítulo 11, verse 6. If you are there, you can help us to read. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I love that translation. So I read it again. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all beside this manner before our eyes. You see, there is nothing at all beside this manner. It was the word of the Israelites. 
or the mis multitude of Israelites. They were the word they spoke to Moses concerning God. And this is God in Exodus chapter 3, 7 and 8. He said, I have seen the affliction of these people and I have come down to deliver them. Esse é Deus que falou no Êxodo 13, 7 que eu vi a aflição desse povo e eu desci para libertá-los. For people of the Israel, Israel to complain about manna, it means they were eating before. Para eles reclamar sobre manna significa que eles comeram antes. The Bible said they were eating before. Eles comeram. God was taking care of them. Deus estava cuidando deles. That day, aquele dia, they run shortage of manna. Eles, they run shortage of meat. Or God decided to give them manna in place of meat. Deus decidiu dar manna no lugar de carne. They begin to complain. Eles começaram a reclamar. The short word I have for us today. A palavra curta que eu tenho para nós hoje. If you want to be blessed by God. Se você Se quer ser abençoado de Deus. If you want your heart desire to be fulfilled this month. Se você quer que o desejo do seu coração seja completo nesse mês. You must desist from being ungrateful. Você tem que sair do lugar de ingratidão. God place in my heart to speak on this word. Deus colocou no meu coração para falar essa palavra. Ungrateful heart. Coração de ingratidão. Ungrateful heart. Coração de ingrato. Ungrateful heart affects blessings from God. Coração ingrato afeta as bênçãos de Deus. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. What I was, what I was meant to understand. O que eu entendi nisso? The Israelites they were not working but they were eating. Eles não estavam trabalhando mas eles estavam comendo. They had no farm. No business they were doing, but God was taking care of them. Eles não tinham fazenda nem negócio que ele estava fazendo, mas they, Deus estava cuidando deles. They had no brother or sister that is helping them. Only God and Jehovah Himself. Eles não tinham irmãos que estavam ajudando eles. Somente Deus que estava ajudando. But that faithful day. Mas aquele dia, he that knows the end from the beginning, aqueles que conheci o fim do início, decided to give them manna, decidiu dar manna para eles, and they begin to complain. E eles começaram a reclamar, they begin to cry, eles começaram a chorar, they begin to murmur, eles começaram a murmurar. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You have to understand that everything God does is good. Você tem que entender que tudo o que Deus faz é bom. Let's open the book of First Thessalonians. Vamos no livro de Primeiro Tessalonicenses, chapter 5, verses 18. Capítulo 5, versículo 18. First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses number 18. We are talking about ungrateful hearts. Vamos ingratitude. Sobre coração ingrato. Ingratitude. Ingratidão. The Lord said many of us are no longer advancing in the journey of life because of the spirit of ingratitude. O Senhor diz que muitos de nós não estão andando para frente na vida. So many por causa of us disso. knew or knows that God destroyed this group of people because of that single act. Muitos de nós sabem que Deus destruiu esse povo por causa desse you might ato. Have, you might have not seen the wrath of God from being an ungrateful person does not mean it is not there. Você pode não receber a raiva de Deus ainda não significa que você não tem ingrato na sua vida. How many of us have taken their time to appreciate God for bringing him or her in the month of August. Quantos de nós já levou o tempo para agradecer Deus, para levá-lo até How many of us wake, wake up this morning appreciating God for making it to see to be in the land of the living? Quantos de nós acordar essa manhã e agradecer Deus para que você está no 
enterrados vivos. We have so many businessmen and businesswomen. Temos muitos homens e mulheres de negócios. They refuse to uh, go to the to fellowship with their brethren in the church today because their business failed last week. Eles não estão na igreja hoje porque eles falhou no negócio semana passada. So many people are not happy sitting here today because their business did not work out. Muitos de nós não está feliz aqui hoje porque o seu negócio não saiu bem. The question I have with us today. A pergunta que eu tenho para nós hoje. Who gave you the capital? Quem te deu capital? Who gave you the capital you invested? Que você investiu? Where do that capital come from? De onde vem esse dinheiro? Elder Ogwefu. The change you have in your pocket, where did it come from? The money you have in your pocket, where did it come from? God bless you. Ele diz que vem de Deus. Master, the fruit, the, the, the fruit you eat, where did it come from? Praise Master Jesus. Ele fala que vem de Deus. My sister, the beauty on you, where did it come from? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. JP, lift your hands up there. Where does it come from? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. None of us, okay, your business has shop who opened for you. God bless us. Hallelujah. This is how God wants us to want me to bless you for today. É assim que Deus quer que eu faça esse pergunta. I want us to have that spirit of gratefulness. Let us carry it as a sample, sample anywhere we go from now. Eu quero que nós leva esse espírito de gratidão em todo lugar que nós formos. If everybody around you sees you as a grateful person, my brother, your life will change. Se tudo no seu redor te vê com a pessoa com gratidão, a sua vida vai mudar. In this month of August, nesse mês de agosto, do you want to enjoy God's blessing? Você quer curtir a bênção de Deus? Be a man and a woman that appreciate God. Seja um homem e mulher que aprecie Deus. Learn to appreciate any little thing you receive from God and receive from man. Aprende de apreciar tudo que você recebe de Deus. Is there Deus. anything you have received from God and from man you have not appreciated? Será que tem algo que você recebe de Deus que você não apreciou ele ainda? Go today and begin to appreciate. Vai hoje e apreciar apreci ele. First Thessalonians chapter five verse eighteen. Primeiro Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 I am wrapping up with this Eu tô terminando com isso Yes praise the Lord Hallelujah praise Master Jesus Hallelujah First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 I read in Jesus Amen In everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, in everything, in in all things. A Bíblia diz que em tudo. In all things. Em tudo. Give thanks to God. Agradecer Deus. In all circumstances. Em tudo circunstância. In all situation. Em tudo situação. You must give thanks to God. Você agradecer Deus. In your time of losses, give thanks to God. No tempo de perda, In your time of persecution, Deus. give thanks to God. No tempo de subindo, In the time of Deus. need, give thanks to God. No tempo de necessidade, agradecer Deus. So many people wake up this morning ah, because they have been sad because of lack of not being able to pay their bills. Muitos acordaram hoje e ficar triste porque eles não conseguem pagar as contas. You are sad because you are owing landlord is the rent. Você está triste porque você não pagou aluguel ainda. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. It's for you to owe your rent, it shows that you have a home. Para você dever seu aluguel significa que você tem esperança. There are some people who are living, they have no place to lay their head. Tem algumas que não tem um lugar para colocar There a cabeça. There are some people who are living on the street. Tem as pessoas que estão tá vivendo na rua. Whatever thing you are sad of today, tudo que você está triste hoje, it shows that God has caused you to be a living, a living being in the land of the living. Significa que Deus te faz 
You have no good clothes you are wearing, you are complaining because you have a body. It must learn to appreciate God for what you have and forget what you what you are expecting. Aprendi a precede Deus para o que você tem e deixa o que você está esperando. So many people are living in pain because of a failed expectation. Muitos está vivendo em dor por causa de expectação que falhou. Because of things they expected and they don't receive it. Por causa da coisa que eles está esperando que não chegou. But today chegou. the Lord is talking to you in this dimension. He said, my son, my child, appreciate God for the ones I have done. Appreciate God for what you have already. What you don't have, I will give it to you. I will give it to you. Wake up to appreciate God for what you have already. What you don't have is in the hand of God. And that God will give it to you. Don't be sad of many who have left you. Count those who are with you. The ones that have left you is in the hand of God. And the Lord willingly, He will cause you, cause you to locate, locate you back. Live with this mentality. Live with this mentality. And you will forever enjoy God's goodness. The Lord is forever good. The Lord is the Lord has planned for you. The plan of God for you is for good and to establish you. You must learn in your entire life to appreciate God for the things he has caused you. He has learned to appreciate God for the things you have. Let to celebrate God for the things you have. Celebrate Deus para aqueles coisas que você tem. Yes, you're supposed to be this. You're supposed to be that. Appreciate God for that which you have now. Sim, era para você ser assim ou aquele, mas aprecie Deus para quem você é hoje. God loves such attitude so much. Deus ama esse atitude muito. God dwells in that attitude so much. Ele if you live your life complaining, if you live your life reclamando, you will live your life in bitterness. Você vai levar a vida de you know, as, as times you thought that people complain because they have problems. As well, you think that as people reclaim because they have problems. Before I thought people have problems because they complain. I thought people have problems because of their complaint. But I realize that problem, they have problems because they praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I thought people complain because they had a problem. But they have problems. Anytime a man begins to complain, he will activate all manner of problems in his life. He will activate frustration. He will activate bitterness. He will activate sorrows and all manner of challenges in his life. Ativa dores e muitas coisas na vida dele. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Today the God is giving us a choice. Hoje o Deus está nos dando a escolha. In all things. And to do. Appreciate God. Appreciate Deus. Because that is the will of our Father. Esse é a vontade de nosso Pai. In all things. And to do. Appreciate God. Appreciate Deus. In all things. And to do. Appreciate God. Appreciate Deus. And you see God. If you are a man or a woman that wake up in the morning, if you are a woman or a woman that wake up in the morning, Father, I don't have this. Father, I don't have this. Father, I don't have this. But Father, I sincerely appreciate it because I have this. Oh, Father, I appreciate because I have this. When you begin to appreciate God for the ones you have, you find that you have everything. 
Quando você começar a precisar de Deus para aqueles que você tem, você vai ver que você tem tudo. My wife always tell me say I'm not a serious person. A minha mulher sempre fala que eu não sou um homem. I will sério. always tell her for a play. Eu sempre falo para ela that in this life, que nessa vida, what I can never do, o que eu não posso fazer, is to do what God can do. É para fazer o que Deus pode fazer. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. What I do always. O que eu faz sempre is to take care of what I have seen. I é, have. É para cuidar aqueles que eu tenho. What I don't have. O que eu não tenho. I know they are in the hand of God. Eu sei que está na mão de Deus. It will surely come to me at the due time. Vai chegar a mim no tempo certo. The time comes, different people keep coming to me. Chegou o tempo quando muitas pessoas começaram a me ligar. Pastor this, pastor that, and pastor this. Pastor Ati, pastor Ayla, pastor is. When I will go home, quando eu chegar em casa, God said, "What do you have?" Deus diz o que você tem. I say, "I have Pastor Henry." Eu falo que eu tenho um pastor. I have Pastor Gotu. Eu tenho um pastor. He said, "That is enough." Eu falo que isso é só. Everything you are looking for will surely come. E tudo que você está procurando vai chegar. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You must learn to appreciate God. Você tem que aprender For those people aprender in your life. Para aquelas pessoas For the na sua little vida. thing they are doing in your life. As coisas tão pequenas que ele está fazendo na sua vida. For those you they have done yet in your life. Aqueles que você vê ele fez na sua vida. Forget what somebody has not done. Esquece o que a pessoa não fez ainda. If you begin to complain what a man has not done for you. Se você começar a reclamar no o que o homem não fez para você. You will be so bitter. Você vai ficar em amargo. So Você vai ficar tormentado. The kind of pity that will come upon you. O tipo de amargo que vai entrar Prayers em você. Prayers can never resolve it. Oração não vai conseguir Prayers tirar. Prayers can never resolve Oração it. Oração não vai conseguir retirar. The only thing that can resolve it. A única coisa que pode retirar. Is repentance. É arrependimento. Is repentance. Arrependimento. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. Essa é a palavra de Deus. Let us open the book of John. Vamos abrir no livro de João. Today is our communion service. Hoje é o nosso culto de comunhão. John chapter 6 verses 15. João 53. capítulo 6, versículo 53. John chapter 6 verse 58. João 53 capítulo 6 versículo 53 até 58. If you are there, you can help us to read. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. John chapter 6, 53 to 58. Then said Jesus unto them, Very, verily I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, had eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. 55. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. 57. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. 58. And the last. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your father did eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The life Jesus was talking about is a life eternal. A vida que Deus está falando aqui é a vida eterna. A real life. A vida real. A life worthy of living. A vida que é digno de viver. If you want to have that life, you must prepare to eat the body and the blood of Jesus today. Se você quer ter essa vida, seja preparado para comer o corpo de Jesus e beber o sangue dele. He said, if you dele. can eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you have it. If you, unless you eat it, you will have no life. But if you have, if it, if you can eat it, you have life and have it in abundance. Ele falou, se você comer o carne do filho de, do homem e beber o sangue, você tem a vida em ti. All the life of Jesus when he was on earth, 
We did not hear about sickness that he was sick. Na vida de Jesus, quando ele era na terra, não ouvimos que ele ficou doente. If you eat his body today and drink his blood, sickness will no longer be your portion. Se, se você comer o seu corpo hoje e beber o seu sangue hoje, doença não vai ficar no seu With corpo. With all the mais. many challenges he had when he was on earth. Tudo desafio que ele tinha quando ele era na terra, he was able to overcome. Ele venceu tudo. And he was able to meet up his target on earth. E ele conseguiu chegar no alvo dele. And today he seated at the right hand of his father. Hoje ele está sentado no lado direito do pai. If you can eat his body today and drink his blood, você pode comer o seu corpo hoje e beber seu sangue. You become forever an overcomer. Sempre você vai virar you will become an overcomer. Você vai virar um you vencedor. will become overcomer. Você será you will vencedor. meet up with targets. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He has given us the privilege to eat, to partake from life eternal. Ele nos deu um privilégio para participar dessa vida eterna. I want you to participate in today's assignment with faith, with love, and with a pure, repented heart. Eu quero que você participe hoje com a fé, com amor e com coração e arrependimento. And the Lord shall bless us. E Deus vai nos abençoar. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. If you know you are believing God for a healing, se você sabe que você está crendo em Deus para curar, you are believing God for a turn around, para virar, you are believing God for a new beginning. Está esperando no novo beginning of new living, de, no beginning of holy living. If you are believing God, that even at the mention of the name of Jesus today, that every of your expectation has been granted, stand up on your feet and prepare your mind to partake from this. Fica em pé e prepara seu coração para participar nesse. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Verses number twenty-six. Verse colo twenty-six. Second Corinthians eleven twenty-six. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. In journeying often. In perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by mine own countrymen, in perils by the hidden. What translation is that? Second Corinthians. No, first Corinthians, please. First Corinthians. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Eleven verses twenty-six. Eleven verses twenty-six. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Second, First Corinthians eleven twenty six. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. As often as you eat the body of Christ and drink His blood, you forever show the work of Christ on earth, and it will not be a thing of joke. And anytime you bear witness before God on earth, to the verse that you say, testimonial, you bear witness to his to you before His Father in heaven. He will be Father and Messiah, Prabhuze, no Pai do Céu. Today we are about to partake from the body and the blood of Jesus. Agora nós está presto para participar. The body and the blood have been given to us. Corpo e o sangue já foi dado to stand a as the remission of our sin. Eles ficou como retirador dos nossos pecados. The body and blood of Christ give, give us hope. Ele nos dá esperança. And I pray as many of partake from it today, your life will never remain the same. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of God and the Spirit of God. Authority of the Most High God, we invite you this hour. And we ask you, O oh Lord, incubate this body and this bread to this hour. We ask you, O oh God, let it be a source of healing to the sick. 
a source of strength to the weak. Amen. A source of survival to the weak. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. But as we carry on this memorial before you, we ask you, O oh God, that which you have promised in your written word, let it be fulfilled and be seen in the life of your choosing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you have spoken through the mouth of your servants that they will receive help through your word. Your word today says that if we partake often as we partake from this, it shall stand as a memorial and it shall stand as a remembrance and it stand as a power through which we will live and live forever. Lord, I ask as many who will eat, eat from this that they please forgive their sins. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As many who will partake from this, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the indwelling power of greatness. Amen. Thank you for the release of the power this hour. Thank you, Lord. Thank Jesus. you for the communication that is taking place in heaven concerning this food now. Lord, I ask, oh God. I ask, O oh God, and I ask, O oh God, let this food give a new beginning in the life of a man that needed it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let it give deliverance to a man that has been bound in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And as we partake from this, let it mark a new beginning of a new beginning in the life of somebody. Amen. Let it become a memorial in the life of somebody. Amen. Today, oh God, let there be a signs of healing. Amen. In the life as many that deserve healing. Amen. Let it be a mark. Let there be a mark of a transformation of the life of those who have been bound by the wickedness. Amen. Let it mark the beginning of a new beginning in the life of a man that his destiny has been crippled. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please, as they share it to you, hold it on before. Don't take it yet. Just hold it on. Don't eat yet. As we sing a hymn, number one. I'm going to sing him number one. My hope is built on nothingness. Don't drink yet, please. to speak to those bread and blood of Jesus and talk to God what you want God to do in your life through that. Begin to speak to God what you want God to do in your life through those things. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus by taking this body and the blood of Jesus. My life will experience newness in Christ. 
I will experience newness in Christ because I believe and I eat in belief and in faith my life will be changed new things will begin to happen in my life begin to pray in the name of Jesus begin to pray in the name of Jesus begin to ask God for a change of life and change of story begin to ask God, God by partaking from this I will never remain the same. By partaking from this, oh God, all my entire life we experience newness. I will experience newness. I am experiencing newness. Newness in Christ Jesus. Newness in all ramification. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you have your the Bible said in Luke chapter 22, verses 19. I mean that is no Lucas capital of 22, verse 19. And he took the bread and give thanks and break it and give unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Father is so healing brand. Lift it up before God. Levantano diante de Deus. As I take the body of Christ today. 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 In remembrance of him. In remembrance of him. I ask for newness in my life. I ask for newness in my life. I ask for restoration of my life. I ask for restoration of my life. I ask every Every life I have lived outside Christ. I ask every life I have lived outside Christ. I ask for his forgiveness today. I ask for his forgiveness today. Let this body of Christ Jesus. Let this body of Christ Jesus. Give me newness. Give me newness. Newness of good health. Newness of good health. Newness of new destiny. Newness of new destiny. Newness of new victory. Newness of new victory. I receive victory in Christ Jesus. I receive victory in Christ Jesus. I receive all round victory today. I receive all round victory today. I receive victory over my dreams. I receive victory over my dreams. I receive victory over my enemies. I receive victory over my enemies. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. They can take it in the name Amen. of Jesus. Shall honor it. Amen. For businessmen, when you call customers, they will hear your voice. Amen. They will hear your voice. Amen. The Lord said, I should tell somebody, your word now carries power. Amen. Use it wisely. Amen. Use it greatly. Amen. From today, your word will bring miracle in your life. Amen. Life will uh,
body of Jesus is powerful. That body is powerful. Yes. The enemy could not waste that body. Not at all. That body was given self willingly. Mm -hmm. Nobody took away that body. That body is strong. You have eaten everlasting power. Amen. You have eaten everlasting power. Amen. If you believe it and you believe what you have eaten, nothing will overcome you again. Amen. You are now an overcomer. Amen. You are now overcomer. Amen. No longer fear your village powers. Amen. No longer fear the ways of men. Amen. That power is in you. Amen. I'm seeing that power coming in the life of women. Amen. That power has come down. Amen. That power has come down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Likewise. Also, they come after supper saying, God, I'm seeing a new beginning in the life of so many men here. Amen. Don't just take this body, the blood, carelessly. Take it with meaning. Take it with meaning. Take it with meaning. Every illness in your life, all this unnecessary blood pressure, the Lord is taking it out entirely from your system. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, this is the cup of a new testimony in my blood which is shed for you. Say, this is the blood of Jesus Christ. As I partake from it today. As I partake from it today. As I partake from this blood that shed for my sake. As I partake from this blood that was shed for my sake. My crown has been restored. My crown has been restored. My life has been restored. My life has been restored. Everything lost in my life has been restored. Everything lost in my life has been restored. From today, I manifest newness in my life. From today, I manifest newness in my life. Anyone I meet from today. Anyone I meet from today. Anyone I interact from today. Anyone I interact from today. Shall begin to see the glory of God in my life. Shall begin to see the glory of God in me. Shall respond to me as a man that carries the glory of God. Shall respond to me as a man that carries the glory of from God. From today, in the name of Jesus. From today, in the name of Jesus. My testimony shall be many. My testimony shall be Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You can drink in the name of Jesus. Your life is blessed. Amen. You have been empowered. Amen. You have been lifted. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If the Lord has blessed you, if you have been blessed, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout a wonderful hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God honor you, his word in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is our Thanksgiving day. Thanksgiving is a choice. Agradecimento.